What most concerns you about the situation right now? I want to know within the next six months or a year who owns the oil. It's all about oil. I mean, it started in uh, the uh, uh, eastern part of Libya. Uh, the uh, interests are manifold. They're international. Uh, uh, NATO was in there and the United Nations was in there. I, I hope this is a victory for the people. I'm not very optimistic. I think it's a victory for empire and it is destructive toward our republic because our government went to war, subsidized this, and just flaunted themselves and said, we don't have to even tell the people. We don't even have to explain to the Congress. We don't have to get permission to do it. So that's an attack on, on republic, the republic. But it, it emphasized, you know, the, the idea of empire. So wait and see in a year how much chaos we have there and who's benefiting from the oil. But are you happy to see Gaddafi out? Sure. I mean... Uh, but you don't think that the way it was done was correct? Well, I don't think that our CIA should have orchestrated it and, and buy into it and set the, set the conditions ripe for the Al-Qaeda. See, we never had no Al-Qaeda was in Iraq before the war. Now there is. They'll be Al-Qaeda. As bad as these dictators are, they usually have some type of, uh, uh, maintain some type of order because they don't allow Al-Qaeda and other radicals to come in. They want to be the, the radical dictator. So I think that, uh, I think things won't go well here in the next year or two. They will not go well. I don't think so. I hope so that it does, uh, mainly because uh, in, in uh, Egypt, uh, we're just changing one military guy for another military guy. What most worries you in foreign policy at this instance? Perpetual war that, that contributes to perpetual debt and destroys our economy, and that's the way all republics go, and I believe we're on the verge of this. So if the people don't wake up and decide that enough is enough, we don't need to be spending a trillion and a half dollars a year in our operations, nearly 900 bases, 150 countries around the world. It can't be maintained. It's a drain on us. So that concerns me because it contributes significantly to the destruction of our republic and our personal liberties. When you're at war, it's much easier to undermine personal liberties. The attitude of the Patriot Act to take care of us and the TSA agents, that's all uh, done because people get frightened and scared that they're about to attack us. So that, that is uh, my biggest fear.